Hi, Ash. Hi. You can take your mask off for a second. What do you think about getting vaccinated on Friday? Good. You feel good about that? Does that sound nice? Yeah. To get done with all this? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Where would we do it? I've, I've got connections. Yeah. Okay? Okay, yeah. let's go to the bus. All right, got Ashley to the bus. Welcome. Hello. Sorry my face is a little bit red. I just did like a peeling solution um, after I took a shower this morning. So I've, and I've still got three kids home <laughs> getting ready to go to late start school. So yesterday was kind of a big day. CDC approved vaccines for kids 5 to 11 and that means that the rest of my family can get vaccinated. And I, <clears throat> while I'm very excited, I'm not waiting on a bated breath by any means. It's not going to fall through, but I am currently in a waiting queue of about 10,000. That was my number in the queue. I was at 11,000, 11 and a half thousand, I should say, last night for our pediatrician's clinic that is going to be running in, I think, a week. They didn't want their website to crash. They've done a waiting queue to get onto the website to make an appointment. They had, they said that they have plenty of appointments for, and shots for every kid that is currently a patient in their clinics. So I don't have a, a worry of being able to get an appointment, but it's just annoying because it's three cities away, three or four cities away, which is just annoying to have to drive that far. I'm willing to do it. I'm, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. It's just a long way to go after school, rough, rush, rush hour traffic, kids are hungry, kids are tired, whatever. All those things. They're all, we're all willing to do it. But I have a friend who works for another pharmacy and might be able to get me in in two days. And I'm very excited, but I'm just waiting. She's waiting on the shipment for their vaccines to arrive. And then I'm checking my, my messages because I'm waiting to hear back from her. But it just means that like, we're almost done with this. Because at this point in the game, if you've chosen not to get your vaccine as a grown adult or chosen not to vaccinate your kids, you're on your own. You're on your own with this. We're gonna get all these kids vaccinated and we're gonna get them safe and everyone else has chosen to be safe is vaccinated and booster shotted. Me and Jason actually are probably gonna get our booster shot shots. I might actually just try and make that appointment at the same time as we get the girls their shots. Um, we have to wait, I think it was six months after our first shot to get the booster shot. That just means we're so close to be done with this. Just done with this. Our whole district is like, so our district did a clinic. They did it with Costco to get the vaccine and their website crashed and ran out of appointments 20 minutes into going live last night. 20 minutes. And they don't know when they're gonna open up more appointments. So that means a lot of those kids within the district have to go to these other pediatrician clinics or whatever, which is totally fine. It just is a little bit of harder, harder of a process, but it means that like so many parents want to get their kids vaccinated. We're so close to being done with this, and our ki our high school kids' vaccination rate is 90 percent and plus. Like I bet it has grown even more because as kids turn 12, those kids are getting vaccinated and they're increasing that percentage even more. I'm sorry if you don't believe in getting this vaccine. I'm sorry if you don't believe that this is real. That's fine. That's your prerogative at this point in the game. I'm, we're gonna be safe and let's just get done with this. But I'm gonna continue on our day. Vaccines aren't happening today. Uh, I'm gonna get some computer work done, send the kids off on the bus to go to their school, and then I might go shopping. We'll see. Just kind of take the day as it comes. I don't even know if I'm gonna put makeup on. I think I might just put lotion on and let my skin relax today after that little peeling thing. But anyway, very excited. I'm holding my emotion in until like we actually get to go and get them taken care of because I wanted to go to a clinic where there's a lot of people there. Like I wanted to have the camaraderie of parents taking our kids and being around them. It was very emotional when I went and got Abby done because um, it was a drive-through clinic and you could see people and it was like a big event and it just, the numbers. I don't know, seeing people makes more of an emotional response to me. So that's kind of unfortunate if I do this other way going through just a regular pharmacy. But regardless, we're gonna be done with it. Very 
excited. All right, I've been editing. I still have some thumbnail pictures to edit. And I started watching Longmire yesterday. Kind of addicted. Good thing there's six seasons of it. But I came in here to do laundry and get breakfast because it's 11 a.m. Yeah, it's 11. Lovely. I'll tell you why I wait until I, later in the morning to eat. But I came in to do laundry and it looks like the Friday laundry that was supposed to be brought down last Friday didn't get brought down till today. So like five days late. So now I have a week and a half's worth of laundry to do. But I did want to show you these laundry baskets because I think I want to get, I have one like this and I have another one that's really like old and kind of breaking down. But let me bring it out here because it's kind of noisy in there. But look how cute these are. These are from Target. They're $10. And Kaylee and Abby have this one and then a white one with little black lines on it. And one is for towels and the other one, this one is for their clothes. So this one goes in their bedroom and then the other one goes by the bathroom. And then this one over here, the green one, is Chelsea and Ashley's. And they're so cute. And they stand up well. They're very, like, rigid. You can, like, collapse them down. But they're really, really rigid. And I really like them. They can bring their laundry down easily they can actually fit hangers i have them hang up their hangers on the edge of the bag like let me show you so they'll bring their hangers down and they'll either like inside the bag and they'll just kind of rest them on the top and put them inside the bag and bring their hangers down but there's enough room in it to do so you can make your laundry experience easy kind of cute you know it just helps the process i haven't even come in the kitchen yet Looks like someone wanted to take licorice. My kids are nuts. They literally packed licorice in one of my little silicone um, reusable baggies. <laughs> my kids are crazy. But I do let them take Halloween candy in their lunch bag if they eat their lunch. The second they don't eat their whole lunch and I see anything left in their lunch bag, they no longer get to take Halloween candy to school. So. Not a bad set of dishes for coming into the kitchen for the first time. Um, it looks like a lot of people have breakfast drinks. So, easy cleanup. Chelsea did her dishwasher this morning. I like late start for that reason because they can have time to get their chores done. Kaylee has swept the floor. Abby did her counters last night. Um, we had a lot of hot cider yesterday. I bought a gallon of it because I figured with everyone's sore throat, it's kind of coming in handy. So, I do need to go back and edit. I usually try and get a shirt underneath it that kind of looks better when it's like visible, but there you go. <laughs> the green isn't really working underneath this purple. I'm reminding you, take my medicine. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, I get it. Oh my gosh, she's gonna go again. I'm reminding you, take my medicine. Oh, Alexa off. Sorry if that turned yours off. <laughs> I forgot to show you. I did this cute little tray right here. I had my Aloha one and I figured it was kind of time to take it down. <laughs> and I had this other little kit that I got from Target that I hadn't put out yet. And so I put it here and a little candle and it was really cute. And it'll stay here for about two weeks until I take everything down for Christmas. I still have this one at my table. That one kind of just goes right there. And I remembered to clean out my water <laughs> from the vase. It was getting kind of moldy. And uh, again, this one will stay here for another two weeks or so. I kind of, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like hang on to those, but I really like them. I'll just wait till next summer, I guess, and get some more. But this whole thing will get changed over for Christmas too. But in the meantime, I do like how it looks. I'm having a really hard time getting back on track with my food. Actually, I don't need the milk out. So I'm doing like intermittent fasting in the mornings so that I don't eat right away. And that's why I, I have my retainer still in. I got a new retainer. I know that's exciting. That's a different story. But I've got some grapes and some cottage cheese uh, to eat here. I'm not, I'm starving, but what I really want to eat right now, cause it's like 
an hour from lunchtime technically, especially because I didn't eat this, I haven't eaten yet. What I really want to eat is the pizza leftover from Halloween. <laughs> That's what I really want to eat right now. But if I eat that, I don't want to Coke with it. And I can't start drinking Coke at 11 o'clock. I just can't. Because once I start at 11, I'm going to want one again mid-afternoon. And then I'm going to want one for a snack tonight. And I'm really trying to like limit not only my caffeine intake, but I'm, I have Coke Zero here at home. So like no, no sugars. But it's turning, I don't know, ever since I got back from our trip, I'm having a hard time kind of getting back into this little routine of eating better. So just going to start with this for now and I'm going to go back and finish editing and then I think we're going to go to Marshall's and Michael's Christmas shopping and pants because all I want to wear is like like jogger pants, like sweatpants, but I don't want to like look like where I'm, I'm wearing sweatpants. So, <laughs> but I don't want to like put on jeans and have not they're not tight. My, my jeans are actually starting to get loose, which is a good thing. Jeans are just kind of restricting and I like to be loose and cozy and come back home and not have to change my clothes. And so I'm kind of looking for either some more jogger pants or jogger jeans or something that are a little bit looser, more comfy, looking for comfy and Christmas because that's what I'm in the mood for. All right. Just got to Michael's. Let's go see if we can find anything good. So Michael's is like really late to the game here. Let me show you here. Totally empty. We've got some back here. But not very much. This is actually really cute. I actually really like that. I like that better. It's cute. Complete bust. Like, they don't even have their Christmas floral out. They had that entire front section was completely empty like Michael's you normally have the Christmas up like in July it's November <laughs> like I don't understand why they don't have Christmas up yet okay this might be short-lived I guess I have two dead batteries I just changed. all right I had to get home and get my batteries charged up and I think I'm going to stop using my generic ones you can see how many generic ones I have I'm going to go back to using just my Canon ones. I'm going to order some more of these guys because these ones keep giving me airs and running out of juice super fast. So I'm going to go plug these guys in and I'll show you what I picked up here at Marshall's. All right, so this is what I got and I also got some stuff for Christmas presents, but I obviously can't show you those things. So I got this cute little set for the bathroom. I just think it's really cute. This one is soap and then lotion and their candy cane scented. On both of them and I just thought that would be really cute to sit in the bathroom on the counter um, I have a Christmas one but I actually might put the other one out here um, and have it displayed out here in the kitchen and then put both of these in the bathroom because I don't need a lotion out here it doesn't make any sense so I'll put this one in the bathroom and then I always love to have these little hot cocoa cups to go for the girls because they tend to take these either out to their friend's house or to school with them in the mornings on really, really cold mornings. And so I just like to pick these guys up for the winter. I got two different sets. I also will be doing like a hot cocoa bar. I think I'm going to put it either right here or down in here. I don't know. I'm, I have a whole plan. I might actually like move my whole spice rack. That's the project I'm working on. Because if I move that, then it means I have to change two cupboards, two drawers, a pantry, and the food storage out in the garage. <laughs> I digress. Then I needed to get mascara. So I went ahead and got this one for the price, same price of $3.99. I got two when the other ones were just one set of mascara. And then I just got myself something kind of fun. <laughs> I've been looking for more fall colors. I have a lot of like summer, tropical, that kind of stuff. So I just got this cute little palette. And you really can't go wrong on these things at Marshall's because it's like $7. Oh, you can't see it. It's like $7. Like you seriously can't go wrong on these. And this is a good brand. Usually I try and find brands that I actually know. And then this is a sneak peek from the Target video. I forgot to add that I picked this guy up. It was on one of my previous trips to Target and I forgot that I had gotten it and already displayed it here in my living room. And so I just wanted to show you that as well because I just think it looks cute even though it's not like Christmas time quite yet. I'm not decorating. It actually still kind of fits in 
with the fall and the cold weather, it kind of fits in with my theme there. I never actually got my makeup on today. <laughs> it's totally fine. But I have to tell you, <laughs> I ran into this couple at Costco. I also went to Costco. I wanted to scout out Christmas presents and Jason and I might be doing my food storage stock up again. So I kind of wanted to like check some prices and check a few different things. So I got some Christmas presents while I was there. While I was there, I was, this lady was walking next to me and she was like rubbing her, uh, her upper arm, her shoulder. She was turning to her husband and she's like, oh, does your arm hurt? It's been a couple hours, does your arm hurt? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it just barely started to kind of ache and, you know, but that's the only symptom I have. And I was like, did you guys get your boosters? <laughs> and they were like, yeah, we did get our boosters. Isn't that so cool? And, you know, and I said, yeah. And she's like, isn't it exciting news about the kids today? And I was like, oh, hang on. And I said, I'm really red and blotchy. It's okay. Um, and I said, yeah, I could cry right now because I'm currently setting up appointments for my girls and for some of my friends. Like, we're almost over this. We're almost there. I am number 8,203 in line in the queue to get an appointment with my pediatrician's office. I can't believe it. I'm number 62,000. <laughs> so, 62,000 people are ahead of me and already got appointments. That's insane to me that there's that many people that are getting these appointments. But my friend who got us our actual original vaccines, she's a pharmacist, not gonna mention her name. She's not doing anything wrong, but I'm just gonna keep her privacy. But she is working on, <laughs> so excited. She's going to set up, I'm gonna cry. <sighs> she has one more kid who needs to get the vaccine himself, herself. And she understands all of this as a pharmacist herself. And so she's going to set up a clinic for us at, at a, at a um, pharmacy in our town. Super easy to get to. And she said she's just waiting on the shipment of their vaccines to come in today to know how many doses that they actually will have. And if she can leave some at the, the pharmacy that she currently works at and then bring some and have enough stocked up at the one that's closest to us. And she said, it, I want these kids vaccinated in our area, but I need to, to set up a clinic for these kids in our area to take care of them. And I could cry because we're almost done with this. And I just, I really just want to be done with it. And I know it's here for a long time. I know it's not going away just because these kids are gonna get the vaccine. I just was watching a TikTok video and this mom has a six year old with long, long COVID what do they call it? Long haul. And I know it's still going to be out there. I understand that. But like these kids deserve this. It's been a long 20 months. They deserve, they deserve this. Out of all the adults that have been against this and not believing in it, this is for these kids. Keep them safe could care less about the, those who don't want to get it anymore. I don't, I don't care anymore. I just want these kids safe because once they're safe, our community is safe and around the world, the kids are going to get safe and all the adults that have chosen to be safe are, and they're just doing it to make sure that their kids get safe. Anyway, it's the whole thing. We're so close. We're so close. It's going to be a really good Christmas because if, <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't think if we can get our kids their first dose this Friday, which is when she's trying to set the clinic up in two days, they'll get their second dose on Black Friday. And I'm telling you, I'm not shopping for anything else. It's the best gift that we can get this year. The best gift. I don't even care about anything else for Christmas, even though I just bought a whole bunch of Christmas crap. I don't care about anything else for Christmas. Like, I don't. That is the best gift we could get this year. Hands down, the best thing that we could get. Okay, this just made my day. Abby loves to make us cookies and desserts. I don't know why she did this when we clearly have enough Halloween candy, but this is extra dough. Oh, this Stop. Way. It's this way. Oh, it's that way? Okay. So this is in the fridge. She was gonna finish making them tonight. <laughs> and that's what we found inside. Get, maybe you can't see it. Get, get out, out of, of the dough. dough. <laughs> So, all right, 
point taken, we will get out of the dough and we will put it back in the fridge because clearly that's what I wanted to do. So luckily she still has some cookies that are made. I'm gonna sneak one and have just one, not even whole one. I'll take that little bit. You want one, Ashley? No, I don't like them. You don't, what? How do you not like them? I like the dough, but I don't like them. You know, okay, well, you've got enough Halloween candy, yeah. right? Did you have a good day at school? She's already bored, folks, and it's only been an hour since she came home from <laughs> school. She doesn't have any friends at her home with her. Her sister's gone, they're all older. You're already bored? Yeah. Yep. How many days do you have left with your cast? I don't even I know. I think it's one week from today. Cause you just said you It's two weeks, so it's been one week since you got it back on. What day did you schedule it? Cause what, one time you said, can we do it this time? I know, I know, I know. So I no, we had to make a lot of appointments for follow up. So <laughs> I'll check it, but I think you have a week left. No more broken hand. <laughs> Little sass, did you guys see that? 